I mean, poker's always been a part of American culture. The kindling that got it all started, I think, is just that poker is such a great game. Poker right now is bigger than the Super Bowl. This is simply a fad. Sport of Kings is high stakes poker. There are people who are clearly performing for TV. He went from nothing to a millionaire overnight. That's what people want. Kind of like lose respect for money, I guess, when you make that much money that easy every month. It was like the end of the world and poker was just, everything stopped. Whether you admit it or not, you all dream in that moment when you can change everything, when you can reinvent yourself. There is something cool about being good at poker. There's something that is absolutely linked to the American psyche. Poker players are the last American cowboys. Like the entire American character at the heart of it is all built around, I'm gonna bluff that this is who I am and then that's who I'm gonna be. There is a mystique about people who can control their own destiny through gambling. In our DNA from the start is this adventurous group of people. I wish I was broke most of the time. That would be le at least getting me up a level higher. Anyone can play, all you have to do is have the money to buy in. When I was just floored, I couldn't believe that people were getting autographs from professional gamblers. Money maker. The money maker effect. His name is Money Maker. I was this big, heavy, drunk, degenerate gambler. Hollywood can't write a script like that. I don't know why it's so big right now. Things don't grow that don't have growability ness to them. The Department of Justice indicted the founders of the world's three largest internet poker companies. Our government's a squirrely little bunch. It's all about money. They want more money. When I started seeing tweets talking about what's going to happen to my money. No one saw this coming. It's just inconceivable. They remind me of the days of prohibition. The law didn't get passed for reasons of morality. Well, if you follow the rule of follow the money, the, the casinos have a vested interest. There's kind of this myth out there that playing online poker is illegal. I think that the lead of our story was like, not about cheating, was but about bluffing. Internet poker was a lifeblood for hundreds of thousands of people. It turns out that really, you were bluffing. There is no money. Money's gone. Once again, you know, you know, the hero of the story was also cheating. Um, and that's just not, he, the heroes of poker don't cheat.